So, man, how are you? I'm sick. But it's not coronavirus, I swear! <laughs> Everyone thinks I have the Wuhan disease! <laughs> Hey, I'm Simon. And I'm Jim. And welcome to a long-awaited episode of Ever Never TV. Yay! Book 6 is officially... Done! <laughs> it's done. Almost. It's caveat, asterisk. I'm doing my very last read-through of it right now, and then I have to go to, to my publisher at 1 o'clock to sort of present all my last little changes. But I was in North Texas at the North Texas Teen Book mm. Festival, which is like my favorite festival uh, ever uh, this mm -hmm. past weekend. and. It was amazing. We had um, a couple hardcore Ever Never TV fans. I know one of them's watching right now named Jenny. Oh, shout out Jenny! First of all, she's like three foot tall and like <laughs> full of energy and like hopped up and down. She almost looked like a cartoon character and yelled at me as to why Sophie's not with Tedros and thinks that I have gone terribly wrong. And she's read up to like five, right? Yeah, she just thinks the entire <laughs> thing is ill-conceived. <laughs> like all the Camelot here. Everything like... is wrong. She just thinks it's all completely wrong. The whole thing is... So a little bit of housekeeping before we jump into the book three secrets for the March book three spotlight. So Jude, tell us about the amazing binge reading campaign that's happening. So this is a challenge that we are putting to all of you guys to read one School for Good and Evil book each week leading up to the April 7th release of the book 5 Crystal of Time paperback. Which also has the chapters 1 through 4 of book 6, One Through King at the back of it. So you'll be binge reading 1 through 5 so that you can then get the first peek into book six. Yes, so we'll put the dates up on the screen. Each week, try and keep up with the book of the week. And you sign up at the link below. And at the end of the challenge, we will select one lucky winner who will receive a signed copy of book six, One True King. We also have announced the Barnes & Noble pre-order edition of book six, which will include this beautiful, exclusive, double-sided poster. What are they gonna get on the back? They're gonna get a special graduation exam. It's the ultimate fan test, really. It's to see if you could survive with the score of Giddy One. And it's difficult, and there's gonna be both the, the exclusive edition and also the signed exclusive edition, but those are super limited. There's only, um, I think, a thousand of them, so they'll sell out like crazy fast. So go to the link below, make sure you pre-order because they will run out, especially the signed. So that concludes our housekeeping. Um, stay tuned after the book three secrets because Christina will announce the winners of the book two gender swap contest and announce our contest for the March book three spotlight. Uh, should we talk book three secrets? Let's jump in. Okay. Secret number one is where the name Rafal comes from because he's okay. such an iconic character now. Like everybody's so obsessed with him, and it came because at the book two release party in the audience. Michael Blank, who does the trailers for The School for Gimme What was with his friend, who was just, just, like, just, here's some pictures of him. He just doesn't look of our time. Like, he looks like he's from a different era, and he just stuck out in the crowd. Does he know that you named the character after him? Oh, yeah. Like, because the moment I saw him, I just looked at Michael, and I'm like, who is that? And he was like, that is your fault. And I'm like, I am stealing it. <laughs> and the funny thing is, Michael goes, well, the irony is you already have because he placed Tedros in your book two trailer. So all these shots of Tedros right here that you are looking at in this book two trailer are Rafal. Whoa, that, that's like some crazy fan conspiracy. Wormhole <laughs> insanity, right? He doesn't resemble the real Rafal really or, or that had, has that same sort of like... He doesn't you know, have a rotting face. He doesn't have a rotting face. He's just different. He's a different person. But he equally feels like he's from a different time. The second secret is that, you know the League of Thirteen? Yeah. For about 85% of the book process, I only had 11. Oh, no! I was missing two people. And then we were literally in proofs. Everyone missed it. And I think it was Tony's assistant at the time said, Are you sure there's 13? And I'm like, yeah, obviously. And then we counted and... Oh we, my god! So I had to go back and add Jack and Sleeping Beauty. Oh! Which was a lot of work. Because I, I couldn't just throw in two random characters. Yeah. I had to like give them a story. Oh my god. Nightmare. So I made, really made a mistake. What's next? Oh, the one scene I rewrote more than any, I think, mm. in the entire series. Was, do you remember Cinderella tells her story of why she's a bad person? And it's because... You know, I think her sisters wanted to go to the school and yeah. she got picked and said and all the things that happened because of that. Mm -hmm. And that's not what it was originally. I had like 10 different stories that we tried for Cinderella backstories. And oh. every time my editor was like, mm, 
it doesn't explain why she's so horrible. Right, so, right. I had to keep working on it. Um, hold on. Let me see. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> no, get away! <laughs> I have a private quarantine in my house. Did you enjoy your sneeze? Well, also, everybody's doing this whole social distancing where, like, they cancel all plans. Yeah. And, like, I just finished my book. I feel like <laughs> I just did social distancing for, like, two <laughs> years. You're like, and now I want to no hang out with my friends. No one wants to hang out anymore. And I'm just like, oh. So I think I got sick because I was mad. <laughs> but anyway, for Cinderella, mm -hmm. we tried all these different stories. None of them were working. My editor's chest kept being like, it's not good enough, it's not good enough. Mm -hmm. um, and at the very last second, I cracked it. It just took a bunch of revisions. Tony also played a huge role in, in the fourth secret. Book three was the most physically trying book out of them all. It's mm -hmm. the longest. I just was tired at the end. Uh -huh. Like, my hair was falling out. I wasn't sleeping. <laughs> I just was under so much stress to deliver this kind of like perfect book. And so that climactic battle right at the end of the book, yeah. I was so tired, I just couldn't do it. And so I just had Tedros impaled to a tree the entire time. Yeah, that's where he stays basically till the end of the book. <laughs> and Tony was like, you built up a character over like 2,000 pages <laughs> and you have impaled him to a tree. And I was like, I am tired. And so I had to have this moment where I was like, I don't, honestly don't care about this book. I hate it. It's no, <laughs> I think it's so many people's favorite book. Uh, yeah, because I think the the goal was to make three and six the two that because think about it, everything is building up to these finales, right? Mm -hmm. That's how the series is created. It's all meant to be sort of one book. Yeah. Um, so three and six are the ones people are gonna talk about, I think. All right, so that's it for book three secrets. We will have some book four secrets next month for April, and we will let Christina take it away with book two contest winners and the new book three contest. Hey guys, Christina here to announce the winners of the book two gender swap contest. We had so many beautiful submissions and it was so difficult to narrow it down to our top five honorable mentions, but here they are. We have Oreo Cat XD with Raffaella, a female version of the evil schoolmaster turned teen, now turned fabulous femme with luscious pink lips and floating silver locks. All right, we have Anadil 3284. Petunia Alexa, the flower ground conductor, a female version of the flower ground conductor, meticulously using Michael Blank's original Ever Never handbook sketch as reference, complete with subtle details such as one of the conductor's mini hands holding a stick of lipstick and a makeup mirror. All right, we have Kyrill. Charisse of Foxwood, a dreamy female version of Chaddock. With his trademark gray eyes and strong features, sure to leave Everboy Jaws on the floor at her first saunter through the clearing. And we have Sort for Never After, Sira, a stunning mirror image of Eric, showing the hurting soul behind the infamous SGE villain. All right, and now for our grand winner. As Lena 360, the Coven, a three for one swap of Anadil Hester and Dot into the hunky heartbreakers Andras, Her Ion, and Draven. With cheekbones to cut steel, this trio of never lads give the boys of Honor Tower, room 46, a run for their money. Congratulations! Please send us an email at evernevertvchannel at gmail.com and we will get you set up with your prize. With March underway, we'd also like to announce the Book 3 themed contest for this month. So a big theme of Book 3 is the struggle between old and new, with characters who are very old clashing with characters who are very young. So our contest this month is for you to pick up a character in Book 3 and flip their age. That means if they're an old character, reimagine them as younger versions of themselves, and if they're a young character, picture their future selves as old men and women. Draw your age flipped character and submit your picture to the Reader's Gallery as a JPEG or PNG under 2 megabytes. The grand winner will receive a signed copy of Book 3, The Last Ever After, as well as a signed copy of Book 6 when it drops. The deadline to enter this contest is March 31st. 
winners will be announced on Ever Never TV. So that was just a lot we threw at you. We threw at you the book, Three Secrets. We threw at you the binge reading campaign. We threw at you the Barnes & Noble special edition that you can pre-order, especially the signed copy before it runs out. The trailer's coming out in April. Book two contest winners. New book three contest. Oh my God. Please like sign up for all these things that are going on. I know there's a lot. Um, but there's a lot of like prizes and opportunities. There's out there. lots of things you can win. We'll see you guys next episode. Bye, Bye. guys.